Look at this face. The haunted expression of a young man deeply committed to capturing this hauntedness every day via a medium known only as photography. The young man has a name, Sultan Gustav Al-Ghazali, and he's a 22-year-old computer science student from Semarang in Indonesia. He took photos of himself for five years as a way to look back on his graduation journey, and of course, he then uploaded those photos on OpenSea, instantly writing himself into legend. The Gosali Everyday Collection was a cool riposte to those who claim Beeple is the only artist with the right to use the Everyday brand. The collection, a staggering insight into the life of someone nobody saw coming. Because Gosali went NFT viral. 366 ETH in traded volume. That's around $1.2 million. You can never predict what the internet is going to fall in love with. And this is just one of those pinch yourself moments. And it helps that Gosali himself was so goddamn nice with it. But that was last week, and just this very morning, things got weird on Gosley Island. An invitation from Irene Zhao to work with the Irene Dow. But who is Irene Zhao? What is the Dow? And why is Novogratz using double exclamation marks to profess his admiration? Double! All that coming up after this message from our sponsors. Unstoppable Domains is the number one provider of NFT domains. With your unique NFT domains such as camilla.crypto or camilla.nft, you can replace your long, complex wallet addresses, verify ownership of your NFTs, log into Web3 apps, and join tens of thousands of people using them as their Twitter usernames. Better yet, with Unstoppable Domains, you don't have to worry about gas or renewal fees and you own them forever. Go to unstoppabledomains.com and get your name.crypto.x.nft or a range of other endings for as low as five dollars. Hello, 大家好，我是雨晴，欢迎回到我的频道。我好久没有叫自己雨晴，因为最近一直别人都是喊我 Irene, Irene. Uh, 那上次说什么 ？Bloody cold today. So listen, this. Is Irene Zhao, an Instagram model, influencer, and crypto head whose Insta presence, which is around 377,000 followers to date, is the usual assortment of tastefully sexy candids in various states of undress, and it's exactly the kind of thing to get simps salivating. And when you see this, you'll understand that I'm not just being snarky. It really is all about simps. But let's peel back the layers here because there's Irene, the influencer. And then there's Irene the Dow, which started out as a sticker collection with fun slogans like "GM" and "Wag Me," and was released to the Dow's Genesis tribe as a free mint. 1,100 items. The floor: 2.68 Ethereum's volume traded. 1,900 Ethereum. I'm showing no sign of slowing down. And bear in mind here, Irene herself has said that she will make nothing from the royalties of these sales. So this. Is the Irene Dow website for the people by the people? It claims to be a global grassroots movement aimed at disrupting the creator economy. Haven't we heard that all before somewhere? Yes, SIMP really is an acronym: Slur Reclamation in Full Effect. The real story, though, seems to be SoCal IO, which is a decentralized version of OnlyFans, Discord, Twitch, and Patreon, built on a layer two powered by Starkware. Irene the Dow. Was in fact just a proof of concept for this entire idea, a social experiment to see if creators can connect with communities via NFTs. And yes, you're right. We have heard this story a lot over the last few years, but it was generally in connection with social tokens. And yes, there have been some interesting experiments in that space. But this is something else entirely. And crucially, it comes with a proper, proper meme: sincerity, integrity, meaning, purpose, and the dawn of whispers. Simconomics. Even Zhuxu joined the fun, and that leaves us with Simpfy. Simpfy? Really? Others were not so convinced, and they responded to Novogratz's extraordinary use of the double exclamation mark in surprised tones. So, I guess we shall have to see if more influencers follow suit and spin up their own DAOs for their fans. It was certainly one of the most unexpected stories of the last week. But crucially, we must ask the question: Can it scale? A future in which we have to simp to earn 
madness. Have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're on our way to a million subscribers, which is very, very slowly. Maybe I just need to man up and accept that Gosily, of all people, has all the answers. Bruh. Oh, the horror. Peace.